day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Father God, forgive us our sins and we may be worthy to stand before your prayer. Thank you for your spirit, for revealing the truth of your word to us. Yes, yes. Giving us clarity in our understanding that we might communicate your plan of salvation effectively to people that we come in contact with. Yes. Lord, help us to understand the concepts that you set forth in the, in the scriptures. Help us to communicate those in accordance with your will, your your vision, not our our vision of what Come it is, but our Come intent, what your intent. Come on. Help us to see what you're saying more yes. so than to impute our prejudices and our prejudgments and our understanding Come on. on your word. Use your word to, to change our mind. Yes. So that we'll be renewing of our minds. Use your word to renew our minds. That we might see clearly to do the things that you would have us do in the earth, that all that we do will be to the furthest of your kingdom. Yes, Lord. Yes, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Brother Adams, what yes, I'm saying is, that I'm using your name. Just, okay. just, just to, because that's right, we need Chris in here to see what he had to say about this. <laughs> uh, I, I have a point, a real good point that, that we're going to start off with, and I'm bringing the scripture up. So that when I put them on the slide, people will see them as well. Uh -huh. But I'm bringing up the commission first, the great commission, right? We have a commission, and I'm a, we got it. It's written in both uh, Mark, it's Matthews and, and John, isn't it? I think it is Matthews and John. But uh, let's go with let's go with uh, Matthews chapter 26, 28. Maybe. Excuse me. Of course, so it's in Mark and Matthews, isn't it? Yeah, I believe okay. so. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna share this one with you. Let's just read them both. Yeah, I will. That's a good point. Cause we, we need to know the commission. All right, you see it, right? Yes. Read, read the commission for these people that's gonna hear this video, hear the man of God speak. You heard me call you the man of God because you know what? You are a child of God. Yes, I am. There and God's go. right here. He's right Come here. Come on, sir. And Jesus is here. And the Holy Spirit. Yes. Don't get me started. I got a mic. Come on now. <laughs> Use it. <laughs> so uh, we're going to read Matthew 28, 15 through 20. 16. You see, son? 28, 28, 15 through 28, 20. Okay. I, I thought, I think just 16, 28, 16. Through. 16, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so 28, 16. Yeah. Okay, then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Yeah. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, This is Jesus now. This All is Jesus. power Come is on. given unto me yeah. in heaven and in earth. Yes. Go ye therefore. What? And teach all nations. What? All nations. All nations. Baptizing them. Yes. In the name of the Father. Yes. And of the Son. Yes. And of the Holy Ghost. Come on now. Or Spirit, if you prefer. <laughs> Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Yes. And lo. I am with you always, always, which is what I said. He's here. Yes, sir. Even unto the end of the world. Yes. Amen. Come on. Amen. And like you said, let's go to one in Mark. Where is it? Mark 16. Down at the bottom. Go ahead, sir. That's okay. 16, 14 through 20. Yes, yeah, 16, 14 through 20. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and unbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not which he had seen him, had seen him after he was risen. Man. Yes, sir. That's something. That's something. Yes. Mm -hmm. Their hearts were hardened, you know, they 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 didn't believe that after a little while 
you see me. <laughs> but they, 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 they are depressed. They were depressed. Yeah. They yeah. had every reason to be depressed. Yes. yes sir. And he said unto them, Go ye unto all the world. All the preach, world. All the world. And preach the gospel. Yes, sir. To every creature. Every creature. He that believeth on and is baptized yes, shall sir. be saved. Come on. But he that believeth not yes. shall be damned. Shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Yes, sir. My name, in the name of Jesus, Jehoshua. Uh-huh. They shall cast out devils. Yes, sir. They shall speak with new tongues. Yes, sir. And they shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Uh huh. They shall lay hands on the sick. Yes, sir. And they shall recover. Okay. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, yes, sir, he was received up into heaven. Yes. And sat on the right hand of God. Yes, and sir. And still sitting there. Yes. That's not in the scripture, but that's where he is. Now he did stood up one time when the. Stephen was stoned there. I want you oh, to yeah. That. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. And they went forth. They did. Yes. Everywhere. Yes. The Lord working with them and confirming the word. Yes, sir. Confirming the word. Confirming the word. The word with signs follow. Yes, Amen. sir. Amen. Amen. But one of the things that, like you said, they went and preached the word that was given, right? Yes. Right. And and, and matter of fact, just to just to, to milk it a little bit more while I got the, the slides up, John 3.16. Okay. I, I read that that paragraph that goes with John 3.16. It starts with uh, God for God so loved the world. It goes to 21. Okay. For God so loved the world yes, that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, sir. That whosoever uh -huh. believeth in him yes, sir. should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that was your caveat you were talking about a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Yes, sir. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, oh. but that the world through him oh. might be saved. So not condemning though, huh? No. No. He okay. paved the way to be saved. Come on. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Yes, sir. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only on, begotten man. Son of God. Come on. Come on. And this is the condemnation. Yes, sir. That light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light. Yes. Because need because their deeds yes. were evil. Yes. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Wow. Neither cometh to the light. Yes. Lest his deeds should be reproved. Uh -huh. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. Come on. That his deeds may be made manifest. Yes, sir. That they are worthy of God. Or that yes. they are wrought in God. And remember when we talked about that. That's shaping, molding. Yes, molding. Come on now. Now, you also knew in Romans 12, you know it's your favorite, it's not your favorite one, it's mine then. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a 12, one, verse 1 and 2. Okay. I beseech you therefore, brethren, yes. by the mercies of God, yes, sir. that you present your bodies as living sacrifices. Now, 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 before we go a little further, as, what does that mean to you? That, that, that go ahead. That, that sacrifice is me allowing God to be the head uh -huh. and my body to be used you, of God. Yes. Okay. So I mean, you die to self then, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. In other words, you don't get no pridefulness in you. No. No. Okay. Gotcha. No. Gotcha. 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 Not my will, but thy will be done. Come on now. Come on. Okay. Bodies. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Yes, sir. <laughs> and be not conformed to this world. 
Oh no, come on now, what's up? But be ye transformed by the renewing, renewing. of your mind. You got that, right? There's a renewing of the mind. Renewing of the mind. That is that's, so important. That's critically important. And you know the last scripture I'm gonna bust. Then we can go ahead. Hold on. And, let me <laughs> let me finish. Let me finish you this. Finish? No, because I need to tell them why okay. you renew your mind. Okay. You renew your mind so that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Woo! That's like why that. we renew our mind. I like that. That that is that is critical. You're right. That is critical. That is very critical. Yes. And then you know the one we start off at the beginning of the year was Philippians 3 10. Mm -hmm. Could you read that for us? Okay. That I may know him. Okay. <laughs> mm, that that right there. <laughs> that I may know him. Right. And the power right. of his resurrection. Yes. And the fellowship of his suffering. Yes. Being made conformable unto his death. Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to back out. I'm coming off the slides now, off the your screen. Because you, you, did, you did a lot of stuff to, that you ran, right? Oh, yeah. There's, there's, there's so much food in there. We can, uh -huh. we, can feed, we can feed some folks. Okay. Now, what I'm talking about is, I mean, even okay. Paul said, I'm not going to build on it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build off of a, man, a foundation that was already laid through Jesus Christ. Right? That's what Paul said. You know, I think he said that if every say elder, he was he said he'll build off, he's not gonna build off build another foundation, right? No, he, he's going to yeah. it's all, everything everything bent on Jesus, the chief yeah, cornerstone. The, 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 the chief cornerstone. Come on now. If that, if that ain't in the right spot, come on. Ain't nothing gonna stand. It's, right. it's, it's no different than being built on sand. Exactly. All right. So the the issue I, I had this here's, here's the weird thing I'm gonna throw at y'all because this this is just to bring in a perspective, just a perspective. All right, you know I'm a Star Trek fan, right? Mm -hmm. And some of y'all Star Trek maybe a little bit, a little bit, right? And and, and, and I saw something that uh, was in our favorite Star Trek, will dealing with Spock, and he had this uh, philosophy that the whole Vulcan culture took on. Pure logic, mm -hmm. right? And the whole tip was that they wanted to eliminate emotions because emotions were destructive. And in my fact, they even said that they were a warring type race yes. of people. That they, if they didn't draw that under control, they would have basically wiped themselves out, right? Mm -hmm. But the key to it is they said, if you, if you, could it, it, it was like a foreshadow or, or like a little parable. Of, of, of Jesus because they said Sarek was the one who brought that philosophy into their culture, correct? Mm -hmm. And it changed the entire, did you, did you catch what I'm saying? It changed the entire culture to move toward a more logical, logical way of living, right? It, and the reason why they couldn't control the emotions. Yes. All right. Now, what I'm throwing at you is this. Jesus was much greater than what Sarah did. Because Sarah didn't sacrifice himself in his but his but the intent of that fictional story was it changed the entire culture. Mm -hmm. We know that the gospel, because he said, go teach it to the whole world, because God is trying to bring in a philosophy, a way of living for all mankind. Right now, most cases, the elders, I'm gonna throw this at you. When we talk about being a Christian, we do we really now El, check this out, brother Adams, because I'm, I'm, I'm bringing in this, this whole concept that I don't think we ever really emphasize that could be emphasized for a community, even if they sit there and don't understand it's the gospel. Now, and this is what I'm trying to say do we really? When people sit there and say, I want to, I'm a Christian, what does that mean in the sense of how they carry themselves? Now, when you say people, yeah, I'm talking about people. I'm define, say, define, define people. The church. Let's talk about the church first. The church. Yeah. 
the body of Christ. When, when, he, when you say define being a Christian, what does that mean? What does that say? Well, the, 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 the definition of that is Christ-like. Okay. Oh, yep, yep. I like that. Come on. Now tell me. When you say that, now describe this Christ-like to me. Woo! Okay, oh. now, you, you, do I need to go through the fruits of the, the Spirit? Yes. You know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. Because a lot of cases, people don't think about the fruits of the Spirit as the conduct of a Christian. They think about, you know, my, my, my actions concerning my works, uh, concerning what clothes I, I put on on Sunday, the clothes, what, what church I go to. But the intent is, how am I supposed to walk daily? Right? right. And, 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 and what I'm saying is, I asked, like the elder and I was talking, and we said, we asked a couple, some of my uh, counterparts, work counterparts, work co-workers, and, and they're white, I was asking, but I, that was intent, intentional. But I tell you what, I think I got the same answer for those that are not uh, mm -hmm. white. I said, do you know about the fruit of the spirit? Do you know what where you can find it? And you know what I got? Lisa, I was surprised to hear from them. One was a Catholic, right? Uh, I can't say how often the other two go to church, but they, they said they were Christians. <clears throat> and they said they didn't know. Elder, they didn't know about the fruits of the Spirit. And if, and if ministries are not equipping saints to be the bare fruit, how is it, you know, because remember, I hear say, Elder said, it, I ain't going to church yet because I'm not ready. I'm not. I'm not ready yet. I'm not. I'm not ready. To me, the thing is, they said they're not ready to perform the look of what they believe a saint is, opposed to Brother Addison, the characteristics of what a saint is supposed to be. Because I find out that I feel that most people do care. That, I mean, you. Elder, what I'm saying is most people have good in them, right? Hey, how you doing, sir? He, he, his audio coming up. Hey, brother, as you know, most people have some type of good in them. Most people have, because the fruit, you remember when Adam and Eve sinned, they, when, Adam, when Adam and Eve sinned, eating that fruit, they had the fruit of the knowledge of good in evil, mm -hmm. right? So, so most we have elements of good in them, <clears throat> but they also got elements of bad in them. Yes. So what we want to do is, if if we 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 least take, move, move a move, movement of getting saints to be taught, all the way from children to 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 the elder, a bare fruit. Now, now you show all different actions of what fruit, you know, how to do the bear fruit. But I mean, Lisa sit there and start off with the foundation of what it says, because it's nine characteristics of the fruit. Yes. Right. Yes. And if, if just I'm just saying, can you imagine you can? That's something easy to teach your child on a daily basis. Even to the point of saying is when you mess up, you can sit there and say, "I'm sorry, I didn't bear the right fruit on that." I'm upset for what you did, but how I reacted to it doesn't line up with the fruit <coughs> that I'm supposed to bear, right? Mm -hmm. Now, before we go any further, because people are listening, right? That's the whole point of this, right? Let's go ahead and read, let's go ahead and bring up the fruits of the Spirit. It's one fruit, we got that, but it's nine characteristics. So let's, let's go ahead and show that. I'm going to bring it down. Galatians chapter 3. One in five. I'm going to share it in a moment. I just want to get there. Let, 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 let Elder Baritone uh, read this for us. <laughs> Bring the bass, Elder. <laughs> I was listening to that on a, on a film the other day. Uh -huh. You barely hear it. <laughs> it's kind of low and roaring, it's like rumbles. It rumbles, you know what I'm saying? You can't hear it. <laughs> Which one? You can't hear what? You hear when I'm talking, you can't hear it. <laughs> 
It doesn't come through too clear. Oh, you you just can't hear yourself. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, it, I couldn't. Now you come up pretty loud and clear. The last one I just sent out. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and start at the. Uh, but the fruit of the spirit, verse twenty-two. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Yeah. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. Yes, sir. And if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. And, and that's one of the biggest issues we see in the church. There's envy, there's jealousy, right? And, and provoking it, brothers Addison, that's what, that's what we want to stir somebody up to break bad right yeah yeah now my question though uh brother addison is do we do we emphasize everybody being reminded of the fruit these characteristics on a daily basis no. <laughs> and then i'm saying is that this is a time where we were talking about with the black lives matter we we're talking about the police brutality we're talking about social injustice we're talking about people saying they're christians so, so that means that a police officer is a Christian. He's a, if he's approaching you, he should not be in the in the flesh. I think you got a point though. The point is if he's if he's a Christian. Well, that's he, a good he, point, right? He's not a Christian. He doesn't have any in, in the first place. And some of these guys are upset. I was sitting there looking at a video the other day. It came out on uh, it happened in June, where the uh, Amazon guy got arrested by the Warren Police Department because he was parking on the wrong side of the road, delivering a package. And the guy asked him for his driver's license. He said, man, you were... <laughs> the, the, the young man was more argumentative and saying is, are you trying to give, you give me a ticket for this BS? I'm just, I'm just dropping off a package. There's, I have saw that. There's nowhere to park. <laughs> so I have to double park to drop the package off, to do drop my job. Off. Yeah. Yeah, and, there is and, no parking. And you saw, you, so you saw how long it didn't take long for the, the, the escalation. The, the escalation, and, and all the man said there and said, "I'm getting the driver's license in the car." But he both of them were upset, frustrated. And then also knows another thing about Addison too was there's, there's 200 police officers on that force, and only six of them are black. Mm -hmm. That, that kind of tells me another thing in our society, if, if we want to make a, a statement on moving in life is, you know, we need to have more, encourage more of our youth, carry more of our people, even the people who re retire maybe, to go into the police force so that we can have more of a representative uh, to deal with the people in our community. However, we saw in Atlanta, uh, the people who put broke that guy's window, there was two black guys, right? Two black officers that broke yeah. the window. Yeah, but my, my point that I'm saying is, just like I was talking about the science fiction, this is a reality of sudden easy concept to also go by. Of teaching people, you can see something you can teach your child on a daily basis. Are you bearing fruit? That's all I'm asking, son. Do you know what your fruits are? Are you, are you gentle? Are you, are you responding to me gentle? Or are you finding me harsh did i respond to you harsh mm -hmm. right if i if, do do i do i respond to you in love remember said that with love they said you you can't do nothing without right you, it's it's like it's not it has no meaning if it's not done in love and pastor, pastor um Taylor, if we look at it we're trying to say children light children of darkness in the world system the alpha dog is really the one's going to get the the props you know what i'm saying yeah, but I'm, but that I'm also mentality, that mentality is only valued in the kingdom of God. But 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 that's it that, works across the board. I agree with you. It works across the board. But, but Jesus, we'll Jesus said, but that's what we're supposed to teach them, right? I'm just saying is that's the commission. That's the reason I had them teach yeah. the commission. I agree with that. Yeah. You know, Pastor, in that scenario with the police officer, you can be in the spirit yes sir and 
showing uh-huh. the fruit of the spirit. Uh-huh. And these guys feel <laughs> escalate and find and make a reason to uh, change the whole scenario, you know. So what well, there's a there's a piece there. I want to throw something at you, Brother Addison. Just a thought. Like I said, I know you got the got that Addison ism on you a little bit. Not not really, but you you know, you I understand the philosophy he's talking about. Wasn't the scripture say that a soft answer turns away wrath? Yeah. If the man asked me for I'm just using that just that scenario. Uh, what's your name again, sir? What's your Charles name again? Bird. Charles. Okay. Oh, Charles Bird, yes. All right, Mr. Bro- Brother Bird, how you doing? Good, um, I, good, see, I, once I get your name, you know I'll be calling you now. See, <laughs> no problem, no problem. <laughs> but but the, the the point. Let's take that scenario. The man got off his motorcycle, and I guess he caused some chastising him for parking in the wrong side of the road. Right? That's kind of how you started out. Like your vehicle is on the wrong side of the road, and the young man basically responded saying, "I don't believe you're gonna try to give me a ticket for this." BS, because I mean, I can hear it. I played the video over. You can hear that part, right? The fruit of the spirit, but what, what you trying to tell me that if the guy was sitting and say, oh, I'm sorry, officer, um, I'll move the car right away. No, you'll get a ticket. Okay. What do you need from me? I want to first tell you, but you had no business sitting there parking. I understand. I got you. I heard you. I really agree with that. Matter of fact, I'm very, I will make sure I don't do that next time. Well, I'm gonna check. Give me your driver's license. Yes, sir. My driver's license is in the car. Do you mind me walking to the car to get the driver's license? From? I just want to know. That's when just... it all turns sour, right there. <laughs> it, may, it may not because he he was he was reluctant. He they called and say he was slow giving the driver's license because the board finally said. Of course, say, they're gonna make up some kind of real. That's what I was saying. They will make the situation yeah. violent. But but here's the point though. When they first saw that videotape, that videotape, the mayor was upset with that arrest. <clears throat> uh, the no charge, they tried to charge that guy for felony for resisting arrest. Yeah. Everything else. But in the end, that officer was the one that was put on paid leave and no charges was given to that young man. As a matter of fact, the prosecutor rejected the charges on that, saying that that, that is no reason to give charges to that young man for that. My point is the first time they saw that video, the reaction was negative toward the officer. I don't call a paid vacation negative. I hear you on that. So now, if, if, if I need to take some time off and get paid, I just go out and do something. <laughs> well, but don't get Mainly <laughs> out, of, out of character with the law enforcement, and then I can just get some paid vacation. Well, let me let me throw something else at you, though. At the same time, first of all, if you're on a paid vacation, you're also on an investigation. You may get something worse happens to you. But here's the point I want to throw at you: the the if he had complied and all that's being recorded, not only would you not get the charges that they'll be dropped on you, now you can sue. And if they keep suing long enough, they're gonna sit there and say, "I can't afford a joker like that on the police force." that's, you know, causing all those issues, right? You thinking about it? You meditating on it or what? Oh, me? What do you think? I, I, what about uh, the suit, the lawsuit? And what, what, would that, the lawsuit would get, that's a lot of money. It, it, it doesn't matter. If you not, comply. Not, I, don't, I, I really don't believe it matters because it's just a form of, of society. Well, and it's it going to always be that way. No. If they, want, if they want to change, it needs to start. You got to start. It's got to start yes, sir. with our judicial system. It we're going to start with the policy. It needs policies. to start at the top. And uh, because the cops work for the district attorney. Yes. Works for the, the judge. Yes. And that, anything they do, Yes. reflects on the judge. So right. the judge is going to always be right. impartial. Oh, so, right. No, but you know, the biggest thing going on today, though, is the video cameras changes the whole... Video camera only works if you're not an officer. 
<laughs> because yeah. Yeah. if it's just as plain as day, yes, sir. What an officer does, yes, they have to investigate, yes, get a backstory on the person, find out who he is. That's okay. What he's done in his past, yes, and none of that has anything to do with the situation and circumstance that that got this case. But, but, but are you seeing progress being made concerning no. none? No, no, wow. I don't. You see, even Congress no. is trying to do police reforms. But no, 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 no. This is all uh, a farce. <laughs> They're gonna talk just like they do when when these children get shot. They talk, and then nothing happens. Well, let's let's, let's make sure let's make sure we back up on that because first of all. Just like the changes that, and do you think Christ has changed the world? Oh yeah, definitely. Yes, he has. So, 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 do you believe now that, that the world could still be changed? By, by I think his, that by the world message. will be changed. Yeah, by his message. Yeah, yeah, but by each, by we're right now being commissioned to go and preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. We're I'm saying is though. One of the things is to preach them to comply with the fruits of the Spirit, operate in the fruits of the Spirit, and you don't think that that would be effective in the long run? No, I think it won't. You don't think that, you don't think the way God, you know what he said, he said his way has been tried and proven. Well, I think, you don't think in a long way. way. Yeah. The civil rights movement, why was that successful? Was it? I think so. I, I know we we change, we'll change some some privileges within the society as yeah. a result of the stuff that happened. Right. It was stuff somebody made money off of it and didn't want to fight or what it was, or maybe some legitimate people felt like, okay, this is the right thing to do. But the, hearts of men, but the hearts of men were not changing, and that became the issue. Well, let me let me ask you the subject. I hate to, I hate to interrupt you at the time. Sorry, guys, I do. My point is, we already know that the law itself cannot change the heart of anybody. No. Right. So my point is that if we preach the gospel and walk the gospel, we can change, Christ can change the heart of many people by based on our actions. Well, I think words, we, our, our action is, is preaching the gospel too. I, th I think that what you said is the crux of it. The gospel is the only thing that's really going to change somebody. So they either got to hear it or they got to see it. Or be, be, ideally, they're going to hear and see it. That's what I'm trying to say. If but, we're talking but, about encouraging people to bear fruit, is that not seeing? I, not, I think that it, it's still, I, it, it, it's, it's, the gospel is going to change. Yes, come on now. Those who accept Christ. Come on, come on. But we also have to understand that, hey, is uh -huh. still enlarging itself. Yes, sir. Never, yeah, never see it. That way, let's talk about the fact of what we ain't talking about the afterlife. We're talking about the now. <laughs> Does the gospel still apply doing it his way? Because Christ did it that way. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the, spirit. the gospel is the only thing that can change a man from who he's accustomed to be right so because so he can try to change on himself uh -huh. but it is temporary yes i agree with that i'm not see we, we keep looking at the problem instead of looking at the, the way that christ wants us to act we talk about the fact is you both preach the gospel right and one of the things we're talking about is teaching and preaching people to bear fruit now based on the scripture you just read Elsa, you said that if i show love joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. There, There is a, uh, you can mimic these things, but to actually <laughs> be able to show it. You, you're throwing things off, y'all. No, 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 no. What no, do no, no. do with you? I'm talking about <laughs> you. <laughs> no, when we say that we can, you can show love, you can do this. The gospel, the, the truth of it is that the gospel, the news, the good news is that we've been reunited with the Father, who is love, joy, peace, it, you know, he is that. So when we reunite with him, that becomes a part of our nature. That's what we become. Okay. And does that, is that not effective? That is effective. Okay. But a person, 
can perpetrate, <laughs> and I know it too. My behavior can change in accordance with something, but it doesn't change right. the spirit of God. And if right. that and if that does not actually happen, if what I did is the same thing anybody would do on stage, I'm acting. And it doesn't really in the long run affect the outcome. Uh -huh. can't it. Yeah, and but the other thing is we have an entity that works against us, Satan, who will definitely work on you until it proves that you are not that person you're pretending to be. Yeah. So there's a legitimate change that has to take place in that person. It's not how we act, it's who we are. But that but the point is who we are is who we act too. You cannot sit there yeah, and who we are, we're, 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 fruit. But not and but not vice versa. You not can not act like vice fruit. versa. It, you, see, like, that's what I'm saying. you don't look at the enemy, you look at us. We're the ones that both agree the gospel, right? Now,